Walsh and Bell are making their final push for votes before Tuesday's election, both making an appearance in the Council Bluffs Veterans Day Parade Saturday morning and knocking on doors. Incumbent Matt Walsh hopes for four more years in the mayor's office and is proud of what he's accomplished already, touting the West Broadway project and cutting city costs as some of his successes. If reelected, he says he hopes to save more taxpayer money, tackle the city's homeless population, and continue development. We need to put a park in the east end of Council Bluffs as the um, city has grown. Um, we haven't always followed along with a, a park system. Challenger Scott Belt says he would explore more ways the city and county can work together using his experience serving on the Council Bluff City Council and Board of Supervisors. He also says the city needs a more inclusive and transparent culture, adding that he'd try to tackle the top complaints he hears from community members. We're going to have infrastructure issues and uh, trying to tackle those uh, after the 2011 flood is being a challenge too. So um, that, that's the number one issue I heard and, and then taxes are probably number two. Again, elections are on Tuesday and voters will elect a new Council Bluffs mayor and two new city council members. Reporting in the newsroom, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7.